How's it going team? Hope you're all keeping well. Connor here from Train Like a Warrior Workouts. Welcome to day number four of our six week Spartan Shred Transformation Challenge. Today's session is going to be a complete upper body muscle build, tone and sculpt session that you can perform absolutely anywhere. All you need is either one dumbbell, pair of dumbbells or kettlebell to push through this session. We're going to target the complete upper body, chest, shoulders, back, biceps, triceps, Everything's going to be engaged with this workout and I really want you to try to push yourself in and around that 8 to 15 rep range for each movement. So if you can, try to get access to heavier weights. If you're using lightweight, bring the intensity, rep it out, it's you against you. Progressive overload works in so many different ways for you to maximize results. So two sets for each movement, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Let's push through and smash this session together. Okay team, exercise number one before I set the timer is an Arnold press. So hold the dumbbells like so, up, and rotate round, okay? If you're using one weight, just perform your normal press like so. You can also do this exercise kneeling if you really want to focus a wee bit more on the shoulder engagement, okay? 10 second countdown, let's go for it. Two sets for each movement. I'm gonna start kneeling. Three, two, one. Also, if you have the edge of a chair or a bench, you can sit on it and perform the exercise seated. Fifteen seconds, let's go. Push it out. Five for a minute. <laughs> Good. Now we're set. So this is week one. As the weeks progress, the intensity is going to progress. Different style of sessions, different combinations. So much ahead to maximize results. Right, let's go again. Fifteen seconds. Good, that's all I got. Rest. Right, the next one is bent over rows. Just bent over, roll the dumbbells up, keep the elbows tucked in tight. And that's it, if you're using the one weight, you can just grab the one weight and roll up also. Right. You can also go with one arm row and then switch the opposite arm if you're using one dumbbell. This is one of my favorite exercises. Not only are you targeting the back, the biceps, the core, it's all engaged, you're stabilizing the upper body. And if you have a weak lower back, this exercise is brilliant to strengthen it up. Good. I don't overlook the power of these workouts. There's so many sessions on YouTube, as I always say, where it's just cardio, jumping about. Yes, you might be getting a sweat on, but you're creating no shape to your body. This is why we're focusing on good, solid compound exercises. Not only are you going to be putting yourself in a fat burning state, burning calories, but you're going to be building lean muscle and shaping off your body. And that's where these real-time workouts go wrong. You don't provide enough of this.
20 seconds. 15. Good. Rest. Right, the next one's just going to be a lying down chest press. Okay, that's, that's the next one. Just lying down chest press. Good work. Keep wrapping it. That's it. Also, if you feel that you have a few more reps, once the timer goes off, push through it. Okay? Don't be afraid to turn it into 45, 50 seconds of work. Right. Three. Two, one, let's go again. Brilliant. Okay, back up onto our feet. I want you to do curls. Okay, bicep curls. I'm going to go alternating one arm at a time. You can go both arms, you can go one arm. It's entirely up to you. Let's target the biceps now. Keep pushing forward, bring the momentum to each session. Ten seconds left. Two. One more set of these curls, then we're moving on again. Flying through this session. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. Twenty seconds. Oh, feel the burn. Ten seconds. Try to keep wrapping it out if you have it. Oh, good. Okay, team. Next one is side raises. Okay, going out like so. Keep a wee squeeze at the top for two seconds. If you're only using one weight. Pull the one weight out, and go like that. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to drop the weight now because side raises is tough. Okay, holding the dumbbells out to the side, up, squeeze. Mm. 
I had to get that uh, eight to 15 rep range in between it. Three, two, one. Good. Set these side wrists. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds. Try to keep digging. Good, two, one, rest. Right, the next one is chest flies to finish off round one. So see them again, you're lying back on the ground or the bench, whatever you're using. Dumbbell flies out. If you're only using one weight, you can go with one arm and then switch to the opposite. Good, one more set. Upper body is feeling it. Go again. Okay, brilliant work. Round one complete. Grab a quick drink and get ready to push forward to round two. Okay, team, round number two. We're gonna kick it off with pullovers, okay? Brilliant exercise to the back and the lats. Now, you, of course, if you have edge of a bench, if you're within the gym, typically you will perform this on the edge of the bench. However, if you have no equipment like so, just sitting back on the ground, lying back, full extension with the arm back up again. Trying to really engage the lap in the back. Okay. And if you're using light weight and you want to make it harder, hold two weights and go back with both arms. Right, 10 second countdown. This is round two. Let's push. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. You want to push through here at the end? Go for it. Oh. 
let's go. Combined with bent over rows, brilliant exercise. Right, next one, we're going one arm, neutral grip, shoulder press. You're holding the dumbbell like so, just going straight up. Do this way, kettlebell also. Shoulders and delts. Let's go. Also stabilizing the core. Set, push out the reps. Only 10 seconds remaining. Good. Three, two, one. Right, switch arms. Only 10 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten seconds. Good. Okay, next one, just push-ups. Normal push-ups. Right, we're going to five. Fifteen seconds from in and let's go. Good. Take that recovery. Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Remember, if it's too difficult, you can drop down onto your knees, form the modified version of the push-up, and then try to progress as we move forward with the workouts. Okay, the next one is a cross hammer curl. I'm just gonna go one weight at a time, cross over one arm, and then cross over the opposite arm. The next set.
20 seconds. Upper body is pumping right now. We have literally targeted everything within the upper body and combined weights, body weight together to truly push forward and maximize results. So you're switching arms now for the next set. Three, two, one. Fifteen seconds. <sighs> Good. Okay. The next one is upright rows. Like so. Okay, good exercise for the traps, the delts, and even a bit of the upper bike. Just upright like so. Okay. Twenty seconds. Five. Oh. Feeling it, upper bike and traps. Okay, we're nearly there. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds remaining. Good. Okay. Kneeling. Overhead tricep extension to finish off. You can do this standing if you want also. You can do it with two weights. Just gonna go with one heavier weight. I'm gonna get the full extension and rev it out. So it's predominantly triceps, however, shoulders are engaged, core is engaged to stabilize the body, forearms. Let's go, try to push out here the 15. Good. One more set to finish off our upper body sculpt session within week number one of our challenge. Okay, three, two, one.
راست ہیں And as always, if you really want to maximize results within this squad challenge, make sure to check out Warrior Squad, trainlikeawarrior.co.uk, where you will get exclusive access to me as your coach, me plans, nutritional advice, exclusive workouts, and so much more to truly help push you forward with your own personal goals. And as always, team, what an incredible session. Brilliant way to kick off week number one. As always, you can go back, repeat any of the sessions over the weekend if you feel that you want to do so. Uh, just look at this channel as your own home gym. You can go in, pick and choose any session you want, but we will continue to push forward now next week with week number two, and I cannot wait to see the results coming out of this challenge.